The super rich are really different than most of the population. And it's not because of their salaries. It's because they know how to avoid paying taxes. According to a new report from the nonprofit investigative journalism organization, ProPublica, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos paid no income taxes in 2007 and 2011. And Tesla founder Elon Musk's income tax bill was zero in 2018. The report found that overall, the richest 25 Americans pay less in taxes than many ordinary workers do, once you include the taxes from Social Security and Medicare. The report highlights the vast and growing inequalities between the wealthiest Americans and everyone else. Earlier this week, the White House press secretary said there's more to be done on this issue. Uh, I'm not going to comment on specific unauthorized disclosures of confidential government information. Uh, I can tell you that, uh, broadly speaking, we know that um, there is more to be done to ensure that corporations, individuals who are at the highest income are paying more of their fair share. Hence, it's in the president's proposals, his budget, and part of how he's proposing to pay for his ideas. She went on to say they're looking into the leaks because, quote, Unauthorized disclosure of confidential government information by a person with access is illegal, and we take that very seriously. The press secretary said the matter was being sent to investigators and officials with the authority to investigate how the information was released. Well, that was awkward. Turns out a 38-year-old man was found stuck in a giant vineyard fan, kind of like the one you see here. Here he is when a Sonoma Sheriff deputy discovered him after two days. The deputy was on the scene to investigate that suspicious blue car sitting there in the field. Officials still don't know why he was found in this compromising position, but they can speculate all of the meth they found with him might be a clue. Austinites, it looks like we're in luck to get the perfect vacay. American Airlines is expanding once again here, adding 14 new routes. Starting in September, you can head over to places like Jacksonville, Florida, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Reno, Nevada. And in November, you can get even more tropical with a trip to Cancun or Costa Rica. Flights go on sale starting next week. It's official. Universal's thrilling Jurassic World Velocicoaster has left the gate. The ride opened Thursday, making fans scream with delight. Now, as you can see, Velocicoaster is not for the faint of heart. It's Florida's tallest and fastest coaster, reaching speeds up to 70 miles per hour. Not to mention the two minute long ride is packed with death defying turns and steep drops. If you're gonna check it out, you better do it on an empty stomach. So you might remember last year, we had to stay inside and watch the 4th of July fireworks on our TVs. But this year, it's time to head out and watch them in person. New York City officials and Macy's have announced plans to host this year's 4th of July Spectacular live on the East River. Public viewing areas will be set up in Manhattan, Brooklyn, and Queens, and everyone is invited to enjoy the show. But pack your patience, because you'll have to get there early to find a good spot. And the fireworks, like normal, don't start until the sun goes down. Habitat for Humanity is building its first 3D printed home in the city of Tempe. The single story home combines 3D printing and traditional construction to create an innovative home model that can be used in the future. The home features three bedrooms and two baths with more than 1,700 square feet of livable space. About 70 to 80% of the home is 3D printed, including all internal and external walls. Construction is expected to wrap up in the fall and it could be occupied as early as October. Governor Roy Cooper wants North Carolina to start powering more homes through wind energy. Cooper has ordered his Commerce Department to create a task force to advance offshore wind energy projects. Wind power is a key component in Cooper's clean energy plan, which aims to reduce greenhouse emissions by 70% by 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality by 2050. To save the planet, the world needs to tackle both the climate change crisis and species loss together. That's according to the United Nations scientists who believes taking measures to fix both and not just one at a time will speed up the process. A joint report released Thursday suggests ways to tackle both, such as protecting and restoring high carbon ecosystems like tropical rainforest. But experts also found that some fixes to warming could actually accelerate the extinction of some plants and animals. For example, adding more bioenergy crops like corn or pulling carbon dioxide from the air and burying it 
could use so much land that the impacts would be catastrophic on biodiversity. 